सर शिवकुमार सर सर गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून या गुड आफ्टरनून सर कैन यू हियर मी सर यस सर वेरी क्लियर सर ओके थैंक यू सर आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू वेलकम यू सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून शैल वी स्टार्ट द सेशन सर यस सर यस सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर Good afternoon to all. I would like to thank uh, uh, management. Can you make a call, sir? Sir, just wait, sir. Yes, sir. शिवकुमार सर PSC College of Arts and Science, and the topic is anatomy of research paper. I welcome you all for a uh, for a uh, national level FPT program to welcome the gathering. I call upon Manjula Devi of our department to welcome the gathering. Thank you, ma'am. A very good afternoon to all and all present here. I am extremely privileged to have this opportunity to address. a uh, gone all for this wonderful session first of all i would like to welcome our management and the principal dr n muthumani ma'am who has uh, continuously encouraged and send her her support and create confidence within us welcome you ma'am i welcome our research person dr b shivakumar sir head associate professor department of a bachelor of occasional banking stock and insurance in phd college of arts and science coimbatore who has kindly consented to be the resource person of one day event i want to convey my heartfelt uh, gratitude to our resource person by accepting this invitation and presenting uh, our this event it will be providing refresh knowledge for us within her valuable speech on concept of uh, tips to write a resource person welcome you sir thank you madam I also welcome our department HOD, Dr. V. Shivakumar Sir, and my team for this wonderful uh, program. Who gave working a uh, smart and dedicated. Welcome you, professors. Last but not least, I welcome all the professors for this session. Welcome you all once again. I welcome welcome you one and all. Welcome you, sir. Thank you, ma'am, for your warm welcome. To get a brief, a brief note of our chief guest. I introduce. I call upon Manjula Maidili, ma'am, to give the chief guest introduction. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Very proud to introduce my PhD supervisor as the chief guest of today's event. Very inspirable person, named as Dr. B. Shivakumar Sir, who is currently working as associate professor in the Department of Commerce and Tourism, Professor in Chennai. I feel very proud to introduce my PhD PhD supervisor as chief guest of today's event. He is very inspirable person named as Dr. B. Shivakumar. Is currently working as associate professor and head department of commerce, vocational banking, stock and insurance in PhD College of Arts and Science, Coimbatore. He has completed postgraduate in CBM College of Arts and Science, MPhil in Alagappa University, and PhD in CMS College of Arts and Science, and Commerce Part-time Research Scholar in Bangalore University. He has more than 20 years of teaching experience and five years in industry as well. He is a profile writer, a keen researcher. He has published 
more than 40 articles under various titles in refer journals both national and international scopus and web of science he has produced four mphil scholars and guiding three phd scholars including me he has a he is a board of studies member for the reputed institutions in bharat university he is acted as research person for national level seminars and conferences is having more than 18 citations index and one ten index for the journal publications he is acting as a vc nominee for doctoral committee meeting by by the university he has published three books which is available in flipkart and amazon he acted as ncc officer and nss po having lifetime membership in ins publishers in bangalore he has received save semmel asri srp award for social service by ngm college polachi and ravindra makkal ekam and sadhanayalar award in 2020 and makkal sevagan award in 2021 by dr apj abdul kalam trust for education and greenery chennai He is presently serving as vice president for Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam Trust for Education and Greenery Coimbatore District. Recently, he got an award for his publishing book chapter and patent publication <coughs> in PST College of Arts and Science, and he's been he has been an editor of book chapter in International Journal. So warmly welcome you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Sir, come on, sir. Yes, madam. Welcome you, sir. The section is yours, sir. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon to one and all present here. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay. So, good afternoon to one and all present here. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, the management, uh, principal, Dr. N. Muthumani, madam. um sivakumar hod of uh, commerce and my candidate uh, maithili i'd like to thank uh, for the opportunity given to me and uh, past one week uh, i think you might have heard many things about uh, research so what is called research and how to proceed with the research and everything uh, many eminent personalities might have been explained to you in a crisp manner i think you might have got uh, every information as the program is scheduled uh, after your exams you might have concentrated on how to uh, become a good researcher but on the last day i was given an opportunity to give tips to write the research paper it was the uh, title and uh, i am here to give you some tips or my ideas which may be useful to you um so how many of you are there in uh, google scholar so i can uh, put a message so how many Excuse of you there sir. yes madam sir there is any presentation sir no ma'am no presentation okay thank you sir okay ma'am so google scholar how many of you there in google scholar okay okay many of you are there okay what is the use of the google scholar if you are there in google scholar you might have published some paper and you have added in that uh, so that uh, it it will be visible to others they can uh, take the important message from your article and they can publish it and they also will get a a good uh, count of publications okay out of which the people those who are given uh, yes said yes they have google scholar id uh, how many of you have uh, citations how many of you have h index how many of you have item index so all these abbreviations i think uh, you know that uh, what is meant by citations what is meant by h index and what is meant by item index number of um, reference taken from your article which is published by the researcher if i am uh, publishing an article 
and I am posting it in Research uh, Google Scholar. For one among you is copying or referring from that article and you are publishing it, I will get one citation. 10 citations will give one H index. Similarly, one I10 index. So this is the way you get uh, the citations. Okay. So before going to the citations and about uh, Google Scholar, how many of you have done uh, Scopus publications? How many of you have done uh, publications in Scopus, Web of Science, UGC Care? Okay, good. Good number of hands. Okay. So there are uh, uh, certain difficulties in finding out the uh, real journals. Now, there are many things cloned. Many things is available in cloned journals. Okay, peer review. Very good. Cloned journals is duplicate. You have to find out the original journal. That is the problem nowadays because um, this year, academic year uh, starts from March, uh, April 1 to March 31st for an academician. But for the journal, it consists from January to December. Uh, it means that from December, uh, there may be a possibility of non-continuance of that particular journal in that site because of the number of articles, number of uh, persons published the articles in that particular journal. When the journal is getting more number of articles, they can publish quarterly, halfly, annually. More number of uh, researchers published an article will hardly go into the cloned journal list. So, because uh, some journals list may be available in the uh, website, uh, they may say that we are we are in from 2010. So, it means 12 years. But when the time when we publish they may not be available in the list in the next year. It is the problem now available in the journal everywhere. So UGC, uh, Scopus, Web of Science, SCI, Science. These are all the uh, variety of journals available for publishing the article. It is very hard to find the list of journals. Uh, UGC is giving a list of journals to be published uh, from the UGC website, you can take uh, 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 one uh, type 1 journal and type 2 journal, but you can go for only type 1 journal, publishing your article. What are the main, uh, coming to the main, main part of the research uh, journal publication, preparation of journalists. Uh, first, you have to select the title. The title may be anything of your interest, which may be related to the current situation. Anything, any title may be related to the current situation, you can opt it. You can go for the title. First, foremost important thing is the title. Okay. From the title, uh, below that, you will be uh, giving some keywords. Keywords. What is the use of the keywords? Can anyone tell? So you are giving below the abstract of the journal, uh, it will be coming with 10 to 15 lines, nothing but aspects. Okay. Um, the thing is that the keywords are more important because it shows your specialization. Shows your specialization, right? So if I am specialized in marketing, if I am specialized in finance, Area of work, a yes, core words, important terms. Okay, anything can be said. Uh, keywords is putting the keywords. Who all will? Who who else will see the keywords? That is my next question. How many of you are there in LinkedIn profile? See, uh, what are all things I am asking? Meta, you, you can note it down. So, LinkedIn profile shows 
your area of interest linkedin profile uh, the researcher a teacher and or an industrialist can have this um linkedin profile so the linkedin profile are related with the keywords so how it is matched is because of the the major bodies who are there in delhi like icssr or ugc or any funding agencies they are looking for the keywords what you are putting nam what we are giving in the below the abstract below the abstract we are giving some keywords that keywords is been observed by uh, the ugc and icssr when we apply for major or minor project proposals this plays a vital role in getting the funded funding from the agencies not from uh, small agencies from other agencies also no from other agencies uh, some private agencies or from government agencies the keyword is the most important aspect so now what we do is putting a uh, 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 go to google we will try to catch the similar words from our title from the google we will copy it and we will paste it in the uh, uh, main uh, profile so that shows the plagiarism that the plagiarism comes so that should be 100% free plagiarism i i my suggestion is that Uh, during submission of phd they may ask for 20% plagiarism is acceptable but to my concern is there should not be any plagiarism 0% plagiarism what else you copy from the google you try to read and convert it into your own english language language is not a matter we are not writing any english uh, poem or anything else we are writing only our objective so we can go we can read that article we can understand what we can understand we can understand that understanding put it in a english word and you can write the objective on your own words even if there is any grammatical mistake or even if there is any um uh, any way meaning uh, meaningless words that can be that can be rectified in the further uh, research further objectives so clearly give your objective and your keywords so first point is you have to clear in your objective first title objective then keywords say example i'll show my um, google scholar presentation is my screen visible so those who are viewing through mobile or those who are viewing through laptop is my screen visible Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So this is my uh, Google Scholar ID. So this is the one educational evaluation survey on coronavirus nineteen and awareness, which uh, survey I have conducted in South India, and done it on March. Uh, twenty twenty March thirtieth, two thousand twenty. Immediately after the lockdown. Twenty first is the lockdown, and I have uh, made a research in effect of coronavirus in South India, where I have got seventeen citations in the year twenty twenty. So many number of people by the time start doing the research on COVID, and they started copying my uh, article, and they have started published. So that is why I got forty uh, three citations, four H index, and two I T index. so this is all about what i am saying earlier 
I think you got my point. Okay, uh, this is how you should be uh, crisp enough so that it should be eye catching to all others, those who are keen interest in uh, knowing about the uh, their own interested article which is there in the website. So you have to go to the Google, you have to search, you have to read, you have to understand, then you have to rewrite it. One or two times you rewrite it so that you will get a crisp meaning about the title. From the title you can add the keywords. So, so here, only one point I have told, what the title, the objective and the keywords I have given. This is very important. And because these keywords is getting reflected in your uh, minor major project proposals, ICSSR, RTN, SCST or SCA, anything else related to science and technology or computer technology or related to mathematics or related to commerce or related to any, any subject, what keywords you are putting is more important which will catch, important catch the eyes of the funding agencies. I am trying my level best to get a, a ICSSR a minor and major projects. This time I have applied for major and minor projects. I hope uh, with the God's blessing I may get it. So how many of you know about South Ganga? So many of you are raising hands. Okay. What is South Ganga? Who is the um, monitoring agency of South Ganga? Who is the monitoring agency of South Ganga? Just you can go and type uh, uh, South Ganga and you can see n number of articles published year wise. Thesis, PhD thesis available in the South Ganga. So even I can show that my PhD thesis. So you can see many of the paper in collaboration with the, my research scholar I have done. I think my screen is visible. A study on consumer brand preference of luxury cars with particular reference to Coimbatore district. So if I click it, it will go to the site directly to South Ganga. Study on consumer brand preference of luxury cars with particular reference to Coimbatore City. So my, my thesis. Okay, brother. Okay, thank you. Ah, sir. Bono, go to Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 Excuse me, Professor. Will you able to remove your mic? Sir, your mic is on. Please, sir. Please, yeah, thank you. Thank you, madam. Organizers also can mute anybody. Hmm. Okay, fine. Uh, where I was discussing about the South Ganga website, uh, it is right, rightly said by Pavitra, madam. Like, uh, it is like InFlipNet, uh, which is directly 
given by the Barwer University in Flipnet, so that the thesis which is submitted by the uh, PhD scholars to the Barwer University will be uh, visible in the South Ganga website, so that any candidate who is interested in uh, getting the uh, reviews can go and search the uh, South Ganga website and they can collect the review. Why I am telling this point is already published an article which is available in the resource. If you try to copy, the person who has published already will get one citation. If you publish, you will also may be copied by others and you will also get one citation. One point, one point is to keep it in your mind is try not to copy as such from the article which is published. Copy and rewrite it of your own language and own understanding. Then you can uh, start typing and you can do it. So thing one, first one I have told us uh, uh, title, objective, keywords. Then followed by introduction of the study. So uh, about a particular aspect, if suppose I want to say about uh, the current trend uh, any example you can tell or I, I also will tell the example like uh, the student's attitude towards offline exams. Simple I am asking. Uh, student's attitude towards offline exams. This is a title. Okay. So for which you are going to write the objective. Then you are putting the keywords. Okay. Then coming to the main introduction part. So what are the things you will write? Students' attitude towards offline exams, offline classes or offline exams. So if you are going to talk about that, you have to uh, tell about the uh, teaching system which is prevailed before, before COVID and during COVID and after COVID, pre, current and post COVID session. You have to explain about that in uh, uh, about one or two pages, that is enough because we are going to concentrate only on journal publications. Okay. So this should be a one, one and a half pages, that is more enough. One and a half pages, you are going to write about the history of education, uh, history of teaching, history of um, uh, students before COVID, uh, during COVID, and post COVID. So this five to six paragraph, that is enough. Simple heading, bullet lines, bullet points you can put and you can write it for a six paragraph, one and a half pages that is more than enough. Then, giving the main objective. So not like PhD thesis, six or seven objectives. You can go with one or two objectives. Based upon the title, you can fix two objectives. So because we cannot extend many pages, we cannot extend many, many pages while uh, we are publishing an article. So we can have two objectives like learning methodology and the student's attitude. These two techniques you can, these two uh, parameters you can take. Like one is student's attitude and learning techniques. These two methods we can take. Anything we can take, I am saying for an example. So based out of, upon these two objectives, you have to prepare questionnaire. So what are the things I am saying? So uh, title, objective, keywords, introduction. From introduction, you are going to prepare objective. Objective will be two. The two objective directly goes to the questionnaire part. Because for one objective, we are going to take 10 questions or 7 questions. For two of the second objective, we are going to take 10 or 7. Why I am saying 7 or 10 or 8 or 8 or 9 or 9 means if you are going to apply the statistical tool like chi-square or analysis of variance or uh, any other tools, the 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 should match. So you know what is 3 by 3 and 4 by 4 or 2 by 2 should match. If it is 3 by 4 or 4 by 3, the results will vary. So the, what, the way we put the questionnaire, the, it, the results will be varying. So the question should be like, so for one objective, the example, seven questions. 
and second objective we are putting seven questions then general aspects is there so name gender these are all the nine questions you can have so all put together along with the comments or any suggestions you can have 30 questions minimum you can have 30 questions you have to think you have to write write and write rewrite you have to make 30 questions with the multiple options don't go with yes or no questions everywhere if it is necessary give yes or no or else give the options so option 1 highly satisfied satisfied neutral not satisfied or highly not satisfied in fixing that also go with uniform fixation of likert scale the likert scale what you are fixing should be either yes or no is 2 or 4 5 don't go beyond 5 so because if you are extending the likert scale more than 5 uh, the measurement rating will be increasing many will be answering ninth option and many will be answering first option and comparing these two and putting three by three options or four by four scaling will be very tough putting the likert scale is very important there so you can have three or uh, four options a b c d or s or no option so that this will be working out very easily it's an easy method of uh, collecting the data so nowadays it is very easy after the lockdown we have we, are, we have become a tech savvy and we become so lazy sitting in the system we are doing the google form and we are copying it and sending it to the whatsapp contacts there they will fill the uh, questions related we will get the answer so that answer also we will be easily calculating with a simple uh, tool called uh, what is that ratio on, uh, sorry percentage analysis simple percentage analysis also can be done by a small uh, questionnaire in the online google form putting 30 questions copying the link putting it in the whatsapp people will respond to that question and you'll get a excel document you can download the excel document and in that Excel document, uh, you can have the analysis part also. Simple percentage method is available, readily available. From there, from there you can do the further process, which will, which I will be telling little later. Okay. So now, after uh, writing the objective, next part is the scope of the study. What is the scope of the study? So related to the title, we are we will be uh, connecting to the scope by doing the, why we are why we are doing the um, research why we are doing the research scope. Then we can go for um, limitations. What are the limitations of the study? This is based upon only the higher education institution or school level or anything else you can give. The limitation should be very less. Why importantly I am saying the limitation should be very less is in a human body, I am comparing to my human body. I am writing a research, I am comparing to my human body. Right? If I have more disease, what can I do? I cannot survive. Right? If I have more disease, I cannot survive. Like that, my article also should not have more limitations. Should be having only one or two limitations. That is more advisable. Saying that I have this problem, I have that problem, I don't cover this, I don't see this, I don't collect the information for that. More number of limitations leads to failure of the research. So give only two limitations. As consider your body, I don't have any disease, I am free from disease. So my health is also good. Likewise, the limitations of the project should be limited to one or two so that your project is also healthy. That is a short idea. Then we are going to have the hypothesis. What is mean by hypothesis? We know everything like uh, it may happen or may not happen. Many may say like that. Hypothesis is things may happen or may not happen. You should have seven hypotheses. You can clearly note it down is seven hypotheses we can have. The seven hypotheses should be related to the title. Questions. 
questionnaire so it should the hypothesis should related to the title the objective and the questionnaire so objective based questions will be framed from that we will get the exact solutions hypothesis right then area of study time period of study duration everything you can give in one one line that is enough so area of study in coimbatore the area of study uh, only collect the data is collected only in the coimbatore city or not even in coimbatore city in particular in your area example you can say in uh, nearby the ppg college the area a survey has been conducted small survey has been conducted nearby your institution particularly you can tell because nowadays the researcher um, people who are there in the top they want to know what is happening in in your area nearby area see one uh, article i have read recently a person in bangalore got an uh, fund for 10 lakh rupees uh, for uh, showing so not in bangalore hyderabad Ma- mysore he want to show the heritage of mysore the title is heritage of mysore for which he got 10 lakh rupees uh, sanctioned from the funding agency thing is that what is the heritage of mysore is he has to go to the fort he has to go to maharaja palace periodically he has to take the photo and send the report that's all so what is happening inside your area that is most wanted so if suppose uh, the livelihood of fishermen in kanyakumari district not especially in kanyakumari district you can go particular area in kanyakumari or in the coastal areas where the fishermen what they are doing is more important go little deeper inside the area so that the concentration level will be more when we are go deeper inside the concentration level will be more and we will be particularly concentrating on one area only that is more important so first chapter ends so introduction uh, objective scope limitation methodology area of study hypothesis period of study uh, everything we have given same like phd thesis we are giving but it is only for two pages all should come within only for two pages sir ninge first you told that the introduction come for one and a half pages then how can i write remaining all the seven uh, hypotheses and everything within half the pages reduce accordingly you can reduce accordingly then coming to the part of the questionnaire so now where we have framed nine general questions 10 questions from objective 1 and 10 questions from objective 2 so we can have the uh, result so we know the result is obtained in the excel sheet automatically will be generated by percentage analysis okay now we are going to write the interpretation so from that from the table we are going to write the interpretation earlier what we do is we take the questionnaire 30 40 pages together print out we go meet people they will take time to fill these are all uh, hurdles has been removed now we can sit in one place we can collect the related information and we can uh, download the excel sheet from there we can get the raw data so from the raw data what we are going to do is we are going to write the interpretations interpretation is from the above table male or female example 48 percentage are male and 52 percentage are female so you have to going to write the interpretation you are going to write and you are going to write the findings along with that you can write the findings from the table it is been observed that 52 percentage are female that's all one one way of writing from the table interpretation also findings we can write it why i am saying now itself is each and every time what you write uh, you can cut and paste it in the findings and uh, suggestions column finding column no need to go, go again read and find what is majority so then and there you can write i am saying about the time consumption so once you write the excel from the excel you uh, the tabulation from the tabulation you are writing the interpretation from the interpretation you can write the findings also immediately 
So you take some two, three, two, three minutes extra. That's all. So for thirty tables, you can complete within one or one and a half hours. I'm saying, and complete the article. Your findings, uh, interpretations, and findings for the thirty questions within one one and a half hours. If you sit in one place and start doing it, we can do it in one and a half hours. I think it is acceptable by everybody. But thing is that we cannot sit at one place and concentrate on the journal work. We have multiple responsibilities. If you are at home, we won't touch the system computer. If you are at college, we'll be busy with the uh, classroom teaching, file, this work, that work, everything. You have to find time. You have to find time. At least spend. At least, if you want to do two journal publications in a year, utilize uh, some holidays. Make yourself free on that those holidays and try to publish some articles. So, based upon the findings, suggestions, findings, you have to write the suggestions. Your everything should be written or typed on your own sentence. Meaning doesn't meaning should be say meaning should not change, but words can be anything like that. You can write so fifty two percentage are female. Uh, they are doing higher education. Next uh, finding, next finding, they are independent. Uh, they don't uh, have the uh, annual income. And this, the least for the nine aspects, like which you can answer and you can put it in the findings. Majority thirty findings will come from that thirty findings. What you are going to suggest? Suggestion from the suggestion. Suggestion should you can take it for uh, some uh, half a page. Suggestion from thirty questions, you are going to take the important point and you are going to suggest which are related to the title. Again, going to the title. Then for conclusion, you are going to conclude. This conclusion also should be related to the title, based upon the result findings and suggestion. You can conclude yourself. Thus, that above title is being identified. Uh, Another most important important thing is a review of literature. I forgot that. How do you take the review of literature is most important. Many people, even me, sometimes, due to lack of time and laziness, what I do is I'll go uh, search in South Ganga or some other uh, websites or any other article. If I see, I just copy and paste it, and I uh, for sometimes I forget to put the reference. automatically what will happen it shows plagiarism it shows copying so it is not the exact way of taking the review of literature the review of literature should be taken in such a way that you have to go and refer a thesis or an article published in a journal right you are going and referring a journal i think a uh, college is having subscription for journal you can open the journal you can select the related topic i can't say exact topic you can go for related topic example if you are going for fmcg fast moving consumer goods or if you are going for financial performance if you are going for working capital or employee welfare anything related to hr finance or marketing or computer systems i don't know about computer systems whether there is review of literature or there not in science i don't know i become because i become to commerce i don't know about other uh, uh, reviews how to collect the other reviews but this is exactly like you can go and refer the title from the title what is the objective given from the objective what is the findings given you have to read these three the from these three you read and you have to rewrite what is happening what you have observed so from the above article or from the above phd thesis done by so and so and submitted or anything else date if it is journal put volume number and journal number journal uh, name if it is isbn number write the isbn number date of publishing everything it is the researcher had told that it is been observed from the above title that so you have to write in your own words 
that is how the review should be collected so what we do is we go uh, search the relevant topic copy what they all have done copy paste it and uh, finally add reviews reference finally we will add reference this is what we are doing but this should not be done many of these purpose journals are rejecting because of the plagiarism we don't know we will tell that uh, we uh, we may tell to your friends our friends that i have published in scopus but uh, long days it was not been reported it was not been uh, mailed to me that it is accepted or rejected because we don't know that uh, there may be plagiarism there may be some other issues so that uh, it may not be accepted there are many free journals iup iup journal is one of the free journal where you have to wait for more than minimum one year so it will be get published you, you no need to bother about that based upon the quality based upon the quality of research what you have done that will be published but you may ask a question if i published it in december 2022 and if i get uh, uh, released published in 2023 december the data what i have given in december 2022 will be outdated that is the question of us really speaking that is outdated but thing is that it will be published it will take time because in number of people are submitting the article to iup because it is free of cost there are any there are many journals which are available nowadays Uh, during 2015 16 17 18 and all the journal ugc journal cost rupees 1000 1500 rupees now now in 2022 the ugc journal is 3500 rupees or 4000 rupees you have to select the exact journal not the cloned journal exact journal and you have to submit the manuscript submit the manuscript certain details will be asked your name your mail id your workplace your id card everything will be asked you have to submit in the pdf format and you have to submit the article in the manuscript attached in the prescribed format you have to attach from that if there is anything to be changed they will revert back to you you have to change it accordingly what they are asking then you can submit it again there will not be any payment if you go for journal of marketing international journal of marketing or international journal of finance or if you go for icma uh, institute of cost and management accounting some journals which are all accepting the articles for free of cost and this thing is that we don't have patience to uh, do that so icma tn uh, tamil nadu state council for science and technology they are accepting the journal for free of cost uh, you can go for uh, iup indian journal of management indian journal of commerce indian journal of marketing finance hr these are many journals which are available you can go now you can go and type it in the google and you see indian international journal of marketing indian journal of marketing indian journal of uh, um, hr or anything else if you go and type is there will be uh, information asked so you have to have orcid id o r c i d orcid id that is one kind of uh, identification for a researcher i think many you might have received having this orcid id o r c i d orcid id it is a 16 digit number starting with four zeros and ends with four digits a number uh, so it will be a unique number for an individual for a researcher like uh, how google scholar id is there how vidwan id is there how um orcid id id is there how microsoft id is there likewise you can have your own id so this all you can put it in your uh, curriculum with a cv or resume or by data or anything else this will be very much useful for your career performance so this all thing you can have so uh, thing is that orcid id you can if you put the orcid id the remaining all other data you don't no need to put because it is automatically generated data because for creating an orcid id you have to give all the details like how you are linking your uh, aadhar card with other uh, thing now central government is saying likewise the orcid id is the one which contains all the information about you 
when you uh, enter the rcid id in the international journal of marketing all your information will be shared like your phone number your mail id everything will be shared and you can go for some reference there important column is that three reference will be asked you can give that uh, you know any of your friends or any of your uh, well wishers you can give three reference so that your article may be sent for review your article if suppose any one of you uh, submitting an uh, article in indian international journal of marketing uh, putting my name in the reference i will receive the journal for reviewing reviewer of the journal that also an another opportunity getting a reviewer in an international journal is also an opportunity you among yourself can create an opportunity as a cycle as a circle from commerce department one can publish an article and put others as a reviewer so one will become a reviewer one will publish an article there is a chance of doing that so this can be done inside the in house but known to the society server whole server so this one point you can keep it in your mind that uh, uh, indian international journal of marketing rcid id is important so you can submit your article in the prescribed format which is asked by the journal in the manuscript you can submit it for any corrections they will asking ask to you to redo it and you can submit it back, back again that may be published within 3 months or 6 months of duration of free of cost but thing is that you have to follow through it so tamil nadu state council for science and technology uh, icssr funding agency ugc uh, ugc care journal cr ugc care journals scopus web of science sca index peer reviewed these are all the many journals which are available you have to search for original journal not submit in cloned journal sometimes this scopus journal may cost more it may be sometimes uh, half of the salary or equal to our salary what we because uh, we are all working in a self financing organization we may uh, depend upon the salary and uh, this uh, scopus publications will cost minimum around 17000 to 19000 if you go for um, publication with the pay of paying money ugc care journal comes around 4500 nowadays so we cannot afford 17000 is uh, big money we cannot afford for that i can give one idea is four person can join together and publish an article four four persons first author second author third author fourth author here i am saying the point is for an uh, score i don't know i forgot the name so first author and second author will get the marks third author and fourth author will get one one marks at least minimum so next our uh, next journal when you are publishing put the second third author and fourth author in the first name and the second author first author and second author behind them so that amount will be shared so that uh, four people will be getting uh, scopus publications so number of scopus publications in the department is not one it is four because four people jointly published an article so four count will be taken as four so two two scopus eight that's that is beautiful number when the institution goes for uh, any nirf rating or uh, nac anything else this will be very much useful for how many uh, scopus publications is made so shivakumar has made maithili has made uh, along with me my colleague is made my friend is from other colleges also made so four persons from different colleges also will get benefit not from different colleges from the same college from the same department also can do that is also possible for the betterment of the department for the betterment of the institution self growth is more important when you concentrate on self when you try to publish journal on your own interest it not only develops the institution but also develops you personally it develops you then to the department then to the institution so you can think uh, self 
you can think on yourself ungala neengle so if you are growing yourself it is the advantage to the department and to the institution that is the only prime source because we have been salaried by the institution we should be uh, sometimes uh, loyal to the institution also old is one poem is there baba black sheep poem everyone knows that i don't want to sing that song you all remember one for my master so i am giving one one for my master means i am giving my income one to the master one to the family and for me three share i am doing it this is what i am doing it so far uh, you might have seen my google scholar i have uh, uh, more than uh, 43 publications including uh, book chapters including books and chapters patents all thing i have published so it is around 60 i think you all can see my screen so patent i have published four patents i have written three books uh, which is available in flipkart and amazon and i have um, uh, publications around uh, 60 this is all my citations so i think i have fulfilled certain um, expectations organizers if any of the participant is having any doubt they can ask professors if you are yes. having any doubts you can ask or post in the comments box shukmar sir so how to know the genuine publication is you have to go for ugc care website Uh, you can search for uh, uh, care one care two journals uh, in care one journal list of uh, journals will be there you can again particularly go to that website and you can see whether the existence is there so existence means for how long they are there and uh, in the future how will be there we cannot predict the future but the period of existence will show the a consistency sir yes madam sir he went to principal meeting sir okay 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 professor so if you are having any doubts you can ask or post in comments box sir one more uh, question has been posted in the po box uh, comments box how yes. can we assure you about any journal scopus index in attendance assure about journal scopus indexing authenticity is um, ma'am it depends upon the um journal published periodically i don't know exactly about that indexing authenticity it depends upon the journal madam turnitin is also another uh, a software which can be used for finding the plagiarism ourself to check ourself okay 
You can post in comments box. You can ask or post in comments box. Hari sir, you can ask or you can post your question in comments box. Harisa, please. Hi, sir. You can you can on your mic and then you can ask, sir, or else post your question in comments box, sir. Sir, one more question has been raised: How to find a suitable journals? Ma'am, mm, suitable journal. Uh, so that is why I have told: uh, If you are going for marketing, you can go for uh, International Journal of Marketing, Finance, CMA, ATN, uh, CS, Tamil Nadu State Council for Science and Technology. These are journals you can check, madam. Thank you, sir. Thank you for informative section, sir. It's really fantastic and energetic section, sir. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay, sir. Now to give a vote of thanks, I call upon Miss Soundarya of our department to give the vote of thanks. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening to Anand Prasanya. On behalf of Department of Commerce, PPG College of Arts and Science, I deem it a great honor and privilege to deliver the vote of thanks. At first, I would like to thank the uh, thank our management and principal, Madam Dr. N. Muthumani, for giving us opportunity to conduct this FDP. Thank you, Ma'am. A special thanks to the today's resource person, Dr. B. Sivakumar Sir, for his efforts towards the topic on tips to write your research paper. We are really enlightened with your knowledge and presence. Thank you, Sir. I would like to thank the department HOD, Dr. B. Sivakumar Sir, for his endless support. Thank you, sir. I heartily thank all the professors and my department faculties for making our seven days national level faculty development program as a grand success. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for all your work, all your participation for the grand successful completion of this of the seven days FTP program on research methodology. Thank you, professors. Regarding the certificate. We are pleased to inform you that the e-certificates will be provided within a week time, and the certificates will be sent to your registered email ID. And once again, I thank you, professors, for your kind cooperation and support. Thank you all. The feedback link will be posted in a group. Um, Madam, uh, uh, as I have some hospital work, sir? I'm leaving. Ah, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, okay, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, ma'am.